I mean, people have been left with the jewels they've been collecting for the past months. There are no events right now giving jewels, I think, except for, you know, the usual story quests. Hi, it's Yukotsu Wolf. Thank you for being here. Okay, I, I think we can start. Let's see. Let's see what Nomura cooked up for now. This must be after the fight against darkness, I suppose. So both Lorium and Ventus are there, maybe. Come on, let me see this Dark Inferno. I know there is a Dark Inferno lurking around. Yeah, yesterday I told people to stay away from Twitter, you know, because there, there is just one hour of difference from the Japanese release of the story update and the global version. So I thought about if there is just one hour, I wanted people to experience this story for themselves in a, in a language that you could basically understand. It's not like, you know, Wreck-It Ralph story update, so... Even if you play it in Japanese, nothing really changes. But these story updates, I strongly suggest you to play it in your own language. Or, you know, in a language you can at least understand. I mean, j just look at my character. He's just uh, standing there without knowing what the hell is happening. <laughs> He's just there nodding and listening. Have a glow poker face, always. <laughs> This kind of feels like the very last conversation between Ephemer and Skold. Yeah, my character is all of us right now. <laughs> at Lorium. So Darkness is inside Ventus right now, I suppose. No, it's not gone, of course. It has become a part of you. You don't want to kill a poor child sleeping in the bed, don't you? Uh oh. Let's read it. Wait, is she. I recognize those hands, those arms.
Wow, th those close-ups are really, really rare in a Kingdom Hearts <laughs> game like Union Cross. Okay, this is must be, of course, Arena. It can only be Arena. Finally, after more than one year, okay, there she is. You know you're gonna end up in that lifeboat too, you know? Not again, flashbacks, please. How did Charity recognize Strelitzia just with... I know, we... It's... <laughs> she has white coat covering all of her face. How did Charity manage to do that? Um, I don't I don't think that's the same white blanket maybe a black coat could only mean the organization would say Sora but here, one of the key bread masters. No, please, don't start again with all of this data world stuff, because I... <laughs> Brain, please, don't you even dare start talking again. No, I don't remember why this data world was created. I mean, I do, but just... Okay... I mean, even Nomura realize they have, they need brain to explain everything er, er, every time, every single time. They, you need to remind people how the hell we end up here. Hey, yo, Orange. Okay. Save data.
All of the monsters are gone, yeah, for sure. Of course. see now which of these people are gonna actually end up inside the lifeboat okay this is continuation of the conversation from the previous update so the true dandelion was being s sent to the future they just left. There are five left. Well, supposedly we already know um, Arena, Lorium, Ventus, and Scold are definitely gonna end up in the future. Maybe Ephemer and Brain should be stay should be, you know, left behind. Maybe by choice. Notice how Lushu is more and more acting like the Master of Masters. He's not a fan of darkness. Yeah, he's, Lushu is totally starting to speak just like the Master of Master. For Heracuse to be born, wouldn't Brain have to use a lifeboat? Well, mm, we don't know yet how many centuries are between Union Cross and Dark Road. So, you know, Brain could just have his own family and <laughs> Heracuse will be born way later.
He rotated his keyblade. Some shit is gonna happen. That's a very cool sentence from Lushu. Lushu seems to know a lot of stuff. Oh wow. Yeah, watch out, you know. Okay, Lushu, that stands. Lushu stands Sora confirmed. Lushu is Sora confirmed. Why not? At this point. Okay, so there are six pieces of darkness in total. Six shadows. Now we are gonna play as Lushu. No. Oh, look at Ventus. Okay, so now there are one, two, three. There are seven right now. How is brain capable of using computers as soon as he touches them? We need to decide who goes. Oh boy.
Was Evergrow speaking? I didn't see his mouth moving. Every time a character speaks, I get excited. They go to sleep, of course. Just like a computer in sleep mode, what kind of <laughs> comparison is that? Okay, see, so my character is speaking. Oh, good boy. Yeah, of course they are not gonna die. They people go always to sleep. Sleep mode. Okay, so looks like Rain is going to decide to stay back. Yeah, I'm Ephemer and Brain looks look more like the kind of old guys would decide to stay back and let other people, you know, live on, go to the future and... Okay. Split up, meaning... Okay, Brain is going back to the real world because, of course, he's gonna have <laughs> his own child, his own children, and let Heracles be born. Brain, Everglow, Arena, and then each take one. It's called Lorium. One of you should take the last. Lorium, it's yours. Mm hmm, okay. Oh, that's so cute of, of her. Now, fam. <laughs> Scold is way too good as a person. I mean, she. 
there is no reason to actually hate a character like Scold. She's been there for you from the very start to the very end. She's always been there to help. It's not her in the secret reports. Maybe something will go wrong. Like they are deciding this right now. But something must be happening. Ruining their plans, maybe. And our character decides to give his spot to Scald, maybe. Yeah, exactly. Player is rich with Scald and Sender. Yeah, that's what I was thinking right now. Yeah, of course, let's give a spot to a random person we've barely seen maybe twice in two years, why not? Makes sense. The sitting's limited for now. Plot twist, brain will never get back. Because we can't have retcons. <laughs> Who is going? I'll stay. Oh, that's my... That's my green-haired boy. I knew you would. Come on, speak. Use your voice. I'm just here as your friend. Oh. That's some cuteness overload. I don't want to have to wait around for you again. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> Why don't we save one for later? Rescue all three of you at once. Yeah, of course it does. Are they gonna share one together? Why not? They kind of enter together in the lifeboat, hugging each other, and get sent to the future. Why not? Hoppy in Arena. Oh, Arena, you have no idea what you're going to become in the future. Oh, this music. was meant for you. Man, every time they use Link to all
Oh, they fist bumped. So Skald just said hi <laughs> to Brain like that. Are you sure about this? Oh, that's my boy. <laughs> she was like, bye. <laughs> Look at them all together. Bray just had the time to adjust his hat. Congratulations. I think that's it. I have no idea why the chat box isn't working here. Okay, that's it. Oof. That was really interesting. I mean, there's a lot to, you know, to process and think about. Yeah, I need some minutes to elaborate what I've just seen. Okay. So of course the um, there's one lifeboat remaining and something is going to happen in the next update which will let Scald take that place. So Ephemer and uh, our character are going to be are going to stay back. But brain should be, you know, end up in a different future because. Oh wait, we just discovered that maybe uh, the real, the true ancestors, the true uh, Eracus ancestors is ephemer and not brain. Looks like it. That was something no one could predict, because, you know, Brain and um, Heracles are very, very, way too similar. So Brain is gonna end up in the future to the same time of Sora and the others. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm reading what you're saying. How will Eracus receive the Master Keeper then? Um, well, if Ephemer is actually Eracus' ancestor, Brain, um, sorry, um, Ephemer is gonna pass down his Keyblade to his own generation. This is if Heracles is actually confirmed to be uh, related to Ephemer and not to Brain. Which is still kinda weird. Maybe it's something that Nomura wants you to believe and at the very end Brain takes back his Keyblade. Nah, I, I don't think so. So if Ephemer and Scald hook up and create baby Heracles, maybe, <laughs> why not? Could Brain have accidentally landed in fictional world? That's a theory.
the Astralitia is still a key point. Ciao Silvia. <laughs> she was a stalker to player. <laughs> Yeah, come to think about it, Strizia, we have been uh, seeing Strizia for almost four years. The very first time she appeared was like four years ago. That's like more than, uh, than the half of the length of the actual game. That's a lot of time if you think about it. So next update should be around, should be released in um, between May and June. Okay, I, I think May will have uh, another update for Dark Road and the final, the very final update for Union Cross is gonna come out um, in June, first week of June, last week of May something. Yeah, I have no idea if Dark Road is gonna wait for Union Cross to end. That's very likely. Um, actually, I think they're gonna end with Union Cross first. And then finish with Dark Road. Because I'm sure that some events of Dark Road are gonna be strictly related to the final part of Union Cross. The second half will have tons of cutscenes, I think, as well as a the very final boss fight, which should be... I was thinking of... we had to meet Dark Inferno, like, Dark Inferno was supposed to be, to me, like the personification of Ventus Darkness. Um, as soon as Ventus gave Darkness a new form, that form I thought was the actual Dark Inferno. Because, you know, in Remind, when Sora enters um, Ventus' heart, you fight Dark Inferno. So that could be like um, the last remnant of Ventus' Darkness represented by Dark Inferno. But if Ventus was already sent in the future, I'm, I don't think we are gonna see more of Ventus. I, I mean, more of Ventus being awake. There's still... The, actually, there's still some stuff which need to be explained, like why Ventus ends up in Mos Xehanort's hands and the others don't. They seem to be teleported to different futures and not to a set time. So maybe that's not the last... We should be seeing more of Ventus at least. I'm, I'm not sure if they're gonna show us how Arena and Lorian lose their hearts. How they become Marluxia and Larxene. Um, that's go probably gonna be left to our personal interpretation. I mean, they, there is no actual reason to show how every organization member got to lose their own heart. Someone fire Ventus. <laughs> oh 
Nomura are you using old concept never used before? Yeah, of course now Let's be serious. There is no way that Nomura ha had in his own mind already decided how to make use of these lifeboats since the very first Kingdom Hearts game. Um, I've seen so many people who were actually sure about Nomura already knowing how to use the concept of the lifeboats 20 years ago. Now, let's be serious. Of course, he did it. <laughs> But it's still interesting how he's able to reconnect stuff, even after some years. Concepts and objects, references, um, you see in different games. The last lifeboat is for Scold, yeah. Ephemer and the player staying both behind maybe make more sense because you know friendship and all that i stay where you stay i stay with you i love you you know all of that ephemer is gonna end up in a kind of um, situation where he's not dead but he's not completely alive either so that's how he gets to co be connected with Sora at the end of the you know when you're going to the Kibri graveyard at the end of Kingdom Hearts 3 when fighting the demon tower demon tide Just creating two different timelines. No, please no. I I don't need that in my life. You think we'll see Demix? Um, I have no idea. Demix and Luxor are the only ones we have not seen yet. Maybe Demix, Luxor, if things are what they seem to be, Luxor seems to come from Yozora's world, from Quadratum, so maybe Demix should make a very quick appearance at the end. I have no idea how, how he would fit in the very final part. Well, okay, so I need to re-record this story update and upload it to YouTube. I would love to stay here and keep talking to you about all this stuff because that's a lot to talk about. Okay, so I have no idea why the chat is not showing here. Must be something about OBS needed to be up updated. Okay, so we are gonna stream um, the next story update, of course, either for um, Dark Road or for Union Cross. That should be at the same time of today. So, it's actually a comfortable hour, a comfortable time for me. Hopefully it's the same for you, somehow. Grazie Zeta Blaine. <laughs> Grazie anche a te, Gian Mattia. Well, guys, thank you for being here. Good night, good morning, I don't know, according to your own uh, time zone. <laughs> it's a good morning for me. That's gonna be a long day, a lot to process. See you next time.